Hello everyone, my name is Chris Takao, and welcome back to another episode on the Cakecraft server. And things, things are going down in this episode, things are definitely going down, and the reason I'm not flying around right now is because I was, I was about to start recording the episode, and it just immediately started raining, and to top it all off, a massive strike of lightning just landed right in front of me. And it was it was kind of sad. I, I felt <laughs> I felt a little bit defeated. So that's why we're in the house. But what I plan on doing if we do walk out here for a second is creating the rice fields. We're doing it. <laughs> it's finally happening. The rice fields, I guess they're they're wheat, but I want to make this entire area into a sort of marsh wetland with the rice aka wheat in in sort of the, the front of the house and then also maybe with some like wooden walkways and even potentially some custom trees not not the autumn trees yet that's that's not gonna happen quite yet for now what i actually plan on doing before we get into all of that and the building and stuff like that we need to take care of the shop we really need to take care of the shop so what I plan on doing is heading over there now and actually just figuring out what we need. <laughs> so that's what I'm going to do right now and I'll let, let you guys know what we kind of need to restock because I know I've sold a lot of stuff and I've gotten some messages from people that I do need to restock the shop. So that's what we need to do before we get anything else started, anything fun in the episode. We're going to have to grind for some resources. And just get that done so we can so we can make some major dough. I'll see you guys when we get there. It really does <laughs> rain a lot on this server. And I just keep telling myself that eventually it's actually gonna be really nice because we're gonna be working in the snow biome. Oh my goodness, we have <laughs> we have more issues. I think I'm gonna actually try to repair the shop while I'm here. I also don't know why there's <laughs> why there's shulker boxes everywhere. But in the end of the rain and the mass quantities of it, I think it's actually going to be really nice in the long run because it'll be constantly snowing in the snow biome. And that, that's just that's that's just going to be cool. I think that's going to be really nice. So let's see what we have to restock. This for sure. People have been buying. Yes, <laughs> yes. People have been buying the armor. A few diamonds here and there. Oh yeah. I think a lot of it was already bought. Still making a decent haul though. Oh yes. Oh yes. That is great. Okay. And let's see if anyone has bought any of our terracotta. I don't know. It's not very popular. Yeah. In the end. The end. That is, that is something I planned on talking to you guys about. I'm going to spend a long time making sure that I do not have to restock this for a while. And not only that, this is not the only work that we're going to do on the shop before I kind of continue working on the base because I feel like I feel like we have been doing that a lot. There's something that I would like to bring back and I think a lot of people on the server want me to bring it back to the gambling shop. I mentioned it in another episode and it is time. I think it's it, as long as I just keep taking care of this part of the shop we can we can add the extension and where i want it to be is down underwater we have like some sort of building with like glass to see out into the ocean and all of that that is the gambling shop like a cool little modern section right here where we just put the little machine that spits out the shulker box of whatever you won for paying i think a diamond block i think that would be a really good price but before we do any of that building and then eventually move on to working on the mansion, we got to do the really laborious part of all of this. And that is just maintaining the shop and also fixing it. We, <laughs> I'm going to have to run back to the base because we need to, we need to work on that. We need to get the bookshelves replaced. And I just, I got to get a bunch of books and I got, I got to get a bunch of armor. Luckily I already have it though. I just got to get it. And then also, oh, the picks, I forgot. We did that not- oh my god, yes! We- I was about to say, we did that not too long ago. Oh, <laughs> these are a money maker. Wow, that is crazy. 
a three three stacks of diamonds haul and these will bring in a lot of money too but three stacks of diamonds from the shop okay if i'm telling you guys if we just put in the effort we can we can be so rich <laughs> because a lot of the stuff here is really popular so yeah that's just what i'm gonna do now you can see a little first person view time lapse of me just kind of working on a bunch of different stuff for the shop i don't know how entertaining it's going to be i'll probably just put in some elevator music but either way i'll see you guys on the other side And after about an entire day of end busting, enchanting, trading, and so forth, it, it was a lot. <laughs> it was quite a lot. We are here. And just look look at this. Here's the end loot. And here are the diamond pickaxes. Okay. Yep. Look at all that. Got some potions and stuff in here all of the books we need to sell a bunch of stuff so yeah now let's let's get to restocking Now with the shop restocked, we can finally move on to the building segment of this episode. And I'm really excited because the gambling shop, I always had a lot of fun restocking. Unlike doing <laughs> all of this, all of these shells, that is, that, is, <laughs> that is not that fun. And the books and all that, villagers are frustrating. But you see, with the gambling shop, what I get to do is I just get to clean out my house like I get to clean out the mansion and all the garbage in it and just be like here someone will pay a diamond block for this <laughs> and then sure enough it works because not all of it is trash of course you see every now and again I'll put something good in like last season I put an entire collection of every music disc I'll do stuff like that or I'll put diamond blocks or something you know because I can actually heavily invest some quality quality <laughs> goods into the gambling shop because I make so much from it. So what I'm thinking for a design, because it's going to be so simple, I don't think I'm going to do a time lapse, is I'm just going to make a sort of little modern L shape right here, or no, not an L, a C shape, just right here out of white concrete, and 
something tall enough and big enough where we can fit, you know, the gambling shop and fit the sort of mechanism for it. And yeah, I mean, it's going to be, it should be really, really simple, hopefully. And I really, I really hope that, that we're able to fit everything. <laughs> Because if we're not, that would that would be kind of sad, and then I'm gonna have to rebuild the entire thing, and it's just. Uh. <laughs> so, yeah, let's let's just get to it. Okay, after going back to the mansion and just grabbing some shulker boxes with some basic materials to build this little extension to the shop, I think we're ready. And because there's a conduit right over there, I think we can actually do this just completely underwater. I think it's going to be really cool to sort of be gambling. <laughs> gambling, I guess you could say, or shopping. Maybe we'll add some other extensions down here too. It could be like a massive shop. But it's going to be cool because you're just going to be able to look out on all sides except one side because we're going to have to put the redstone there. You're going to be able to look out and just kind of see a nice sort of little display. Maybe we can even actually look the water, look really nice. Put some like, uh, maybe some... Uh, what, what's the word? <laughs> some coral. I don't know why I couldn't think of the word there for a second. Maybe we could put some coral out here on the sides and add some sea pickles and stuff like that and really give some life to the ocean view that you'll get through the glass. That would be really cool. Maybe maybe we could even somehow have some like underwater like front porch out here. Now what we're going to need before we add in the walls and the glass, because I'm already really liking this. It's really simple. What we need some sort of support and then every oh is that a trident evade run run oh my gosh that guy really hurts we need some light so i'm actually going to go over here to the sort of the sierra farming co sort of shop so i can get some of please no no <laughs> are you serious Oh no, where am I gonna get any lights? I need sea lanterns. Alright, there we go. Got some nice lights that sort of blend in a little bit with the white concrete. And now what I'm gonna do is I'm going to have to <laughs> empty out all the water. I came to that sudden realization just a few minutes ago. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make some panes, some glass panes. And then we're going to do that. That's, that's, <laughs> this is not going to be fun. Things are definitely getting a little bit cramped in here. But what I'm hoping is when I break all of this, we should have no water in the entire structure. It does not seem like it. Are we going to run into glass? Okay. Oh, that's an issue. Okay. So the glass is waterlogged. What am I, what do I do about that? What do I do about that? Oh no. Cause that's gonna refill the entire room if each wall is waterlogged. Okay. The space is officially cleared out, but unfortunately we have to do the hardest part. And that, <laughs> that's the right stone. That's the gambling machine. And I'm, I'm really not looking forward to it at all. So what I'm going to do, because I just kind of want to grind through it and just do it all at once, is I'm not going to record any segments <laughs> at all for it. I already have it figured out in my testing world. And so, yeah, I'm just going to do it. And I'll see you guys on the other side. Wish me luck. And, yeah, it's just, it's, it's just going to be awful. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> And it is officially done. I finished the redstone and I even did some detailing. If we just go in here, oh no, there's a zombie. This already, this already shows our first problem with the shop. I'm definitely going to have to work with lighting just a little bit more. Hopefully I have some sea lanterns and stuff in my ender chest. But look at this. Look at this. I wrote some signs here. It says, enter one diamond block into the hopper. <laughs> Give me your money. And just only do one at a time because if you do more than one at a time, it'll just receive it as one and you'll only get one shulker box. So I can do a quick demonstration for you guys and I'm just, I'm really excited. I'm really, I'm really satisfied with it. And it's simple, but at the same time, it's it's embarrassingly overcomplicated because I, I don't know how to do redstone at all. It's so much to the point where you can hear it right now and there's even a water stream flowing like for the items and... It's, it's all just to enter a diamond block. 
just like so, and then to have a shulker box come out. And then you can see what you got. I'm not going to show it because I don't want to spoil anything, you know, but that's basically how it works. And now that we have this out of the way, it's time. It, it, it Ladies and gentlemen, it's, it's time for the rice fields. <laughs> it is time for the gardens and the summer house to truly come together with some life. So without further ado, let's hit it with the time lapse. And I'll see you guys on the other side when we just have hopefully a really, really beautiful amount of landscaping done. Bye for now. Here we are at the end of the time lapse. Welcome back. And I have to say, let me just let me just say this is this is great to have something in front of the mansion. Although I, I might I say the time lapse probably wasn't. I haven't edited it. Ed, edited edit. <laughs> I haven't made it yet, so I don't really know. But I'm guessing it wasn't that interesting because I forgot to record every now and again. And at the same time. Let's let's be real. It's me just placing wheat <laughs> like miles <laughs> miles upon miles of wheat. So we'll see how that goes when I go into the editing phase. But you know, like I said, it's so nice to have something in front of the summer house. I mean, it just it looks so cool. I don't know if I'm overhyping it or what with the sort of little river and I'm gonna add some more like water sort of seeping into the sides here because right now it's a very like solid line. I might fix that. There's definitely some tweaks that we have to do. But I mean, especially with the shaders, it's just, <laughs> I'm almost out of breath. It's just so nice. I really like it. And then try to imagine the autumn trees from that one Monday build just coming out of the sides, at least two 
two of them on either side sort of like making your eyes go towards the mansion with the leaves falling down in those nice autumn colors and then eventually the ones on the floating islands it's all gonna come together and just be so beautiful like with all the nature and everything i'm really excited and looking forward to that but i mean this is this is a good start this is definitely a good start and with that i'm gonna leave it there that is our final segment of the episode and if you did enjoy this episode on the katecraft server please make sure to hit that like button and subscribe if you're new and i'll catch you in the next episode bye for now so fast. Where is he? Dude. Ah. My fingers are so sweaty. This is so difficult. Where are you? We're going into hand-to-hand -hand combat. How are we going to do this? It's so fast. Oh. Oh. <laughs> We're going on an adventure, my boy! <laughs> my fingers are so sweaty! Oh my goodness!